This is the herb, mostly herbs, and some lettuces building. The tables here are a little bit bare, but I uh, bare, bare, bare. But I think that's because you're currently Seeing. doing stuff. Seeding. So this time of year, because we've got so much demand, we've pulled out everything that we've cut last week and we've seeded in new stuff. So these cups here, we have a different type of growing medium in there, and we put the seeds in and leave them germinate on the table. So this side we have a lot of um, soft green herbs and some things that we're just about to change over. So here we have some kaffir lime leaf. Yes. Did I say that right? Kaffir lime leaf? Kaffir. Kaffir. Yeah. Kaffir lime leaf? Kaffir. Kaffir. Yeah. Like fear. I fear the cat. <laughs> fear the cat. I like that. Yeah, they, they smell so good. I they was, do. I was trying these up earlier and I was like, mmm, I'd love my house to smell like this. They're so good and they're amazing and Thai food, if you're not putting these into your curry, then you know you'll notice it. They yeah. give them that zing. And you've they got, do smell really good. You've got curry tree leaves, which curry leaf trees. Um, lemery. Okay. That's what Indians call it, lemery. Quite, quite fragrant. They have a nice smell on their own, but once you cook them, they're really, really good. They're good in dal. Yes. Yes. Okay. They make a dal. I don't think you can have a dal without them, actually. Doing like a dal without curry leaves and a Thai curry without lime leaves, you're doing it wrong. Um, exactly. I think in New Zealand we import a lot from Fiji as well. Yeah, there's lots of Fijian Indians over there, so. Yeah, and I think they, they grow curry leaves particularly well. They also grow lemongrass particularly well. Mm, but we yeah, have our own yeah. weed stock, so we're just re sowing all of our beds um, at the end. So we're changing over our stock. This here is French tarragon. Oh, these fancy. are little seedlings that we've got. So these are not mature. No. So do some of your herbs grow better in dirt than like most of your stuff here? Soil. <laughs> dirt. Soil. Soil. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Well, I think I've been told you can grow nearly anything hydroponically, mm. and we have some things which we prefer to keep a stock in soil as well. Mm. French tarragon. We have just found a really good way. My girl has got a particularly good skill set of growing, so she's started off with these seedlings. And cool. They're actually doing really well. In here, we like to experiment a bit more, so we keep these beds to experiment with different little plants. So we've got everything. Oh, we have pineapple sage ones that took over. No, we have pineapple mint. It was not very nice. Pineapple mint. I've never come across pineapple. It doesn't, sound, it doesn't taste very good. It does smell like it, but it doesn't taste like it. Mm. We have chocolate mint, that's nice. Oh yeah, does it taste like chocolate? It tastes like an amsterdam mint. Oh, can I try some? Yes. Let's go try the chocolate. So, selecting a de particularly delicious leaf. Mm. 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 It does actually. It's good, eh? Would you like to try some Vietnamese mint on camera? Is Vietnamese mint the hot one? Um, it is peppery. It is nice. I think you'll like it. Okay, well let's try some of that then. Is it the this one? It's right here. Yeah, so it's a little bit overgrown. We have to cut this back. It it's grows. always overgrown every time I come up. It grows like a weed. It's amazing. Mm. Vietnamese mint, guys. Mm. It's quite flavoursome. This you'd put in curries as well, yeah? Um, I think you can put it through a lot of Southeast Asian food, like you can chop it through hot food or you can have it fresh, like chopped through a salad. Mm. This, the Vietnamese mint and the chocolate mint together in something, yeah, like a confection. The peppery with the tea. It'd be like chili chocolate kind of thing. I want to see you try the basil. I, think you like the basil. I don't like basil. But you might like these basils because they're not actually like basil. So this is coriander. Which is delicious. If you don't like coriander, I can respect that, but please don't tell me it's disgusting because I'm Indian and it's my favourite thing. I don't know. I, like, I find it with like the stuff here. Yeah. People either like love it or they hate it. People aren't like undecided about it. I love it mm. myself, but I don't know. Some people they just very strong opinions about coriander. It seems to you know. People love it or they hate it. Like no one's just like meh. Well, maybe I just haven't met those people because I'm very opinionated. So this is... This is a baby lemon basil. Mm. I'm going to try a baby lemon basil. Oh, you've got a bit of Vietnamese mint still in your mouth. Mm, no, this is not for me. 
This would make a nice candle though. Candle? Mm, like the scent is quite something that would transfer to cosmetics quite well, I think. That I'm not eating that, so I don't know why you're passing it to me. This is Greek basil and you're going to eat a leaf of it. Oh, okay. I'm just, I don't really go for basil. They don't taste like basil. Oh, that one's nice. Mm. Mm. Actual basil gives me a headache and apparently a lot of plants as a um, natural protective thing they will taste hot or they will make you feel sick or something like that and basil's one of them. Chili is also another but I think that's backfired a little bit for them. <laughs> so what's this one? Purple basil. Purple basil? Yeah. Very cute. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's beautiful. Mm. This one you will like, this is Thai basil. This is, this is Thai basil. This is the one my partner likes. Mm. That would make a nice like, that would make nice lollies actually. No, I think Weirdly. Mm. Oh my god, it does. It tastes like um, like mint humbugs or like aniseed balls or something. We've got all the stuff here, so it's very, you can see everything's very orderly, it's nice, everything's organised. They have different growing states. Oh, this is watercress, or oh, watercress? Is this the watercress baby? Watercress. This is baby watercress, which is also used as micro herbs sometimes, I guess. Very cute. Yeah, chefs love that stuff, right? Oh yeah, totally. Coats my goats. Coats my goats. Look how colourful it is, so I love seeing how orderly everything is. And like calm. Um, you look at the mint. Oh, the mint. Every time I come here, the mint is out of control. And they're always having to cut it right back because it just grows so well. I wish my mint did that because then I would feed it to my rabbits. But like, my mint does not go out of control no matter what I do. That'd be lime leaf tree. So, this is your mama lime leaf? Yeah. Kaffir. 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 So, this is watercress again? Mm -hmm. Mmm. Another side. So we sell it at you know lots of different sizes. Yeah. Can I eat some? Absolutely, go for it. Mmm, watercress. I'm part Māori also, so I should really like this. Mmm, that is good. Good. I didn't think I'd be able to taste it because of all the, <laughs> the yeah. stuff I've eaten, but that was really nice. Like that that fishery taste. Really good in water um, in boil up. <laughs> if you can have boil up, I can't now. But um, back in the day, I did love a boil up. Mm. Is that oh, Mum likes this one. Yeah, yeah. So we do this at varied sizes, but this this is a nice size for salads and things. Yeah, yeah. Which some people do. It's, it makes an amazing little micro because when the light hits it, it's almost like iridescent red. It's amazing. Mm. And What's this? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is stevia. Stevia. It's natural form. So it's natural like sweetener. Yeah. Yeah. It's really nice. You only okay. need a little bit though. Naturally sweet. Oh, imagine this with like the chocolate peppermint leaf. I don't even Oh my god. I wonder how much this would be like in the super. Like, how much? How much natural sweetener would this one leaf make? Because that was sweet. And when you buy stevia normally. You need to add a lot for it to actually get sweet, sweet you know? But in its raw form. And it's, it's amazing. They reckon sometimes when it's processed, like yeah. it loses its sweetness. Of course it does. Yeah, but like... Use some of that. Get oh. some of that stuff. All of us love this stuff. Love it. Is that why there's so little of it now? Because like, everyone's been snacking on it. <laughs> you have to grow. Really? Well, I have to get it to a size where you can like keep trimming it. Mm. So that it's not going to like die. Yeah, or you're gonna like trim more than that's able to grow. And look at all the silver beet. That is a staple right there. A lot of people don't like it, but I grew up on silver beet, so I think that's a must have. So did I, so. I imagine you use the smaller leaves for salad mixes though, mm -hmm. and things like that. Yeah, mm -hmm. we have a few places that like to take the bigger leaves, so we keep them and send them the bigger leaves, but we mainly sell it with the smaller leaves. Yeah, Go my on. rabbits like the bigger leaves. Oh, do they? Yeah. What's this? It's fenugreek. Fenugreek, it looks like a weed to me. You know that? Um, oxalis. Yeah, oxalis. Yeah. This is fenugreek, which, like in Indian cooking, they use the seed a lot. Mmm, I have noticed that. Well, the leaf itself is actually really nice. It's really mild, it doesn't have much of a taste. 
um, but it's like a great base that you can steam to go with stuff. Mm. So my friend who's it's into like, um, Ayurveda tells me it's really good for cholesterol. But it reminds me of sprouts. Mm. Mm. Like really mild flavour, quite an offensive. So that's a green shisel, which is a Japanese herb. It's got a particular taste. I love it because... It kind of tastes like human. Like what? Human. I totally thought you said human. <laughs> Leanne, it tastes like human. <laughs> What's this one? That's the red cheese, so I've just eaten the other half of that leaf. I love the taste of this because it they reminds me... They do taste slightly different. Mm. Mm. It reminds me of Japan. Oh, of course. Japanese. And you went to Japan? Okay. Rhea Nova. No, it's um, we have different types of kale, so these ones have been absolutely cut back at the moment. But um, we sell them in the next one. So, so curly kale. This is sorrel. Sorrel. I think I've had this, it's quite tangy, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we had some of this growing at my old house. We called it sour leaf plant because we didn't know what it was. Yeah, I think like mum calls it sour grass, that's what they used to call it growing up. It's really nice, you can use it with fish and chicken. And a chef once told me that wherever you use lemon or citrus, you can use sorrel in its place. Mmm, it's nice and tangy. Mm. It tastes like sour lollies. Mm. I just like it chopped through salad myself. Apparently, this one, if you heat it up, it goes brown. Oh. So you have to, like if you're putting it in a soup or something, I think Russians have a soup that they make out of it, you have to cool it down to keep it nice and green. Mm. Otherwise it goes brown. But this basil is looking fantastic. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, though, you sell so much basil. Mm -hmm. Like everyone loves basil. A ridiculous amount. Yeah, basil, parsley, chives, coriander, mint, 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 mint. <laughs> mint for Africa. This whole corner of the um, the greenhouse. The greenhouse is quite huge. It's probably like the size of a rugby pitch, I guess. Is it? Would you say that's that's accurate? well? With the two tunnel houses together, yeah. so the lettuce one and this one, we have 5,000 square meters just over that cupboard. So that's anyway, this one corner here, which is like probably a quarter. I we guess. call it one span. It's one tunnel house. Yeah. So this, this one span here there. is just basil and mint, basically. That's how much they sell.